amazing stuff. What's up guys? Welcome back to the Lean Mean Academy and today we're back on a graffiti job site. I actually was buzzing around and uh, found this guy and I was like, man, this thing has been here for a while. I think we ought to clean it. Today we're going to use some of the graffiti, graffiti from southeastsoftwash.com. As you guys saw, I'll put my last video up somewhere in the top right or left and you can check out the other graffiti we cleaned. This chem is super potent. It's a hazmat chem. It is definitely a professional grade chem. So if you're one of those guys who is wanting to, you know, use less because of the potency, that's what you're able to do with some of these chems. I think I used about a half a gallon on the last project. 500 bucks was the half a gallon cost, right about uh, half gallon is like probably 30 bucks or so. Uh, maybe a little more, maybe like 40 bucks for the half gallon. Well worth it. If you're wanting to get started in pressure washing and you want to kind of compress the learning curve for yourself to where you know how to wash, you know how to clean roofs, how to clean siding, how to clean substrates, how to mix all of the chemicals, basically just how to wash a house in general, how to wash commercial properties as well. Mike Vidan, Justin Rogers, Cody Yarbrough, and myself did the how to wash course. This course is getting rave reviews. And if you're looking to do that, jump in. You will not regret it. All right, so <clears throat> let's get started treating this graffiti. So on the bottle, it says, allow it to dwell for five, allow it to sit for five to 10 minutes, um, and then hit it with a high pressure. Uh, you can do hot, you don't have to have hot water. I don't use hot water on graffiti. Um, and if you need to keep it wet, you can reapply. I'm not gonna reapply here. I'm just gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes. Problem is, kind of impatient all the time and sometimes I think 10 minutes is 10 minutes and it's usually been like three minutes so this time we're really gonna let it sit for a solid 10 minutes and hit it with a green tip some guys use a white tip doesn't really matter as long as you're using adequate pressure the key though is to allow it to dwell long enough before you hit it with the water right because then you dilute everything and you kind of have to start over if you're gonna reapply so really let the chemical dwell let it work and then hit it with your pressure. All right, so, so now we're just gonna hit it with some high pressure. Like I said, I got a green tip. I'm gonna take this shit off.
right, what's up guys? As you can see, Graffiti Defeaty did it, man. Took it all out. I could probably go back and hit some of these spots, and I will before I leave, but the whole tag is gone. Um, super stoked. I think the first Graffiti Defeaty, you guys didn't know about it. It didn't have a name, and Cody was telling me that it was super light. It didn't really do what he wanted it to do, so we went back to our chemist, told him to up the potency by a hell of a lot, and um, this is the, the result. So a pro chem that works, you can count on it, keeping it in the truck, and it can make you money. Go ahead and click the link in the description. I'll put that down there to this product. And uh, Cody, good job, dude.